Hi, I'm Michael Kamis, Senior Applications Editor and Workflow Consultant at Keycode Media. Today we're going to explore the concept of using the same media in both Final Cut Pro and Avid Media Composer without any transcoding. We'll be using Mac OS 10.6.3, Final Cut Pro 7.02, Avid's Media Composer version 5.02, and the Automatic Duck Pro Export plugin for Final Cut Pro version 4.04. .04. So let's start in Final Cut Pro. You'll see that I have a timeline, a basic cut, a basic checkerboard, and I can scroll through the timeline without any issues. All the clips are native without any effects except for basic transitions. If I look up at my clips, you can see that they're all ProRes 422HQ. So I'm going to take this sequence and I'm actually going to export it using the Automatic Duck Pro Export FCP plugin. You'll see that when I bring up the window of options that I have a summary at the bottom. And that tells me that I'm going to link to all existing media in an Avid compatible format. As I bring up the details window, you'll see that I am exporting an Avid compatible file with Avid compatible effects. And I'm going to reference all existing media files, not to create any new media files. I'm going to select where I want to save it and hit save. You'll see that it goes extraordinarily fast because I'm not creating any new media. I'm now going to bounce back into Avid Media Composer, where I'm going to create a new project uh, using the same frame size, 1080p 2398. Call it something generic so I can find it, and now I'll load up a brand new project. Once the project loads, I'm going to get my bin situated so all of you at home can see it, and I'm actually going to import the AAF file. Now you'll notice that the AAF file is very small, again, because no media has been created, it's just being referenced. When I bring the AAF in, I now have a sequence as well as a clip listing. Avid will now give me a warning telling me that the effects from Final Cut need to be converted into an Avid format. That's fine. I hit OK and a new sequence is created. As I scroll through the timeline, you'll see all the media is offline. Even if I double click on the clip that's referenced, it's still offline. That's because Avid can't find the media. If I were to go to relink as you traditionally would and search for the media, telling it to look for a master clip on my media drive, and to even allow AMA relinking, it's not going to find it. Once I hit OK, I get an error saying it cannot relink. That's because Avid doesn't natively search out an AMA folder until you tell it to. So I'm going to goose Automatic Duck right now by telling Avid to look in a folder for AMA linked files. You'll see those files then populate in my bin. If I double click on them, they show up just fine. Avid now sees the folder where these files reside via AMA file linking. Now I don't need these files anymore, they just confuse the issue. So I'm going to delete these and go back to my original clips. If I now select them and go to relink without changing any settings, if I hit OK, Avid will now see that folder as an AMA volume relinking the files and now allowing me to scroll through the timeline with all the clips now online. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this quick tip today. Please visit our friends, Avid Technology, Apple Incorporated, Automatic Duck, Telestream, Keycode Media, and my blog, mkdcmichaelcomas.com. Take care.